What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design an e-commerce website on Canva. Canva, uh, if you don't know, is a great uh, website or platform that you can use to design virtually anything from presentations to posters to logos, you name it. And you can even design uh, a website on Canva. So if you wanna create or design your e-commerce or uh, uh, online store on Canva, you can do that with ease. However, you have to keep in mind that uh, Canva is a design tool, meaning uh, it is not like a full-fledged um, e-commerce platform such as Shopify and WooCommerce, meaning that you cannot like add products and uh, do all this stuff on it. You can still design product pages uh, as you wish, as we will see uh, in a bit in this video. However, you still have to have your like your main uh, store uh, on like Shopify or WooCommerce or another uh, e-commerce store. So uh, when we design the website in Canva, we will link the products to uh, Shopify store because Canva doesn't have the tools to add like product pages and make purchases, accept payments and so on. So without further ado, let's get right to it. I'll show you how to create or how to uh, start building from a uh, template and also show you if you want to start from scratch how to do it. So here in uh, Canva, you have to go to canva.com and here we will search for uh, like website. Okay, hit enter to get all the templates available for websites. Okay, so here are the templates that uh, Canva has to show us. We can uh, filter them by category. So business, social media, education, and, uh, marketing and so on. So let's say we are creating a, or designing a website for a clothing uh, brand. So here in business, uh, let's choose uh, websites okay and and here you can see all the templates that canva has to offer so browse through them and choose one that you uh, uh, feel it it suits your business so let's say we want to create an, a store for a clothing brand since I already have my Shopify store I have like added products on it clothing products so um, any uh, template will work really however you choose one that you like the style so let's say I will choose I want to choose this one click on it and um, you can here browse uh, through or get like a preview of the different pages of this template like if you scroll you can do you can view the home page and how it look like and if you decide you want it uh, to go with it you can click on customize this template and it'll open in a new tab where you can start customizing and editing or removing uh, elements from this template to create your website. So here we are in the editor where you can edit all uh, the elements. Let me show you first if you are starting from a blank template or a blank like, a canvas to uh, edit or add your elements. Here we can see the pages. So if you want to go to a certain page, you can do so. Let's uh, say this first page is a black canvas. So I'll just delete uh, all the elements here delete you can click on le element and click on delete on your keyboard or uh, delete it here so let's say i am starting with a, a blank page and even uh, without background so let's say white background okay now um, you can go ahead to uh, design here and then uh, choose a template you can search for templates right here and uh, add them and apply them to this page however we want to add elements from scratch so here go to elements and here we can add different elements to our uh, website uh, like graphics photos and so on so let's add a photo first of like um, clothing let's uh, let's here choose in photos graphics in photos see all photos and let's search in photos for clothing Okay, so let's say we want to add this photo as a background. So we'll just drag it and drop it right here. And we can uh, stretch it out, increase the size to fill in all the frame. Okay, looking good. And here we can uh, decrease the transparency to make it like uh, a bit soft as a background. Now, um, let's add different elements here. First, let's add a frame here in the elements. Search uh, in the photos go back and uh, search for frames scroll uh, through them here photos okay frames see all uh, frames these frames will be like placeholder holders for uh, our images or the product images 
Okay, um, here let's uh, scroll through them. Let's say I like this one as a placeholder for uh, my uh, t-shirt, the product that I'll add right here. And let's uh, rotate it a bit. And here to add your image, go to upload and then click on upload an image or video and upload a photo of your product. So um, here you should click on your product to upload it. However, uh, I don't have any photos for my products, so I'll just uh, add this one, this uh, this blank uh, t-shirt, Drag, just drag and drop it here, and it'll add, double click to adjust like the uh, positioning to show right here, okay, looking good. And um, you can increase the size here of the frame. And now you can add text, go to text to add like a heading, a text style here to your website. Actually, let's decrease the transparency of the background a bit more. And then you can add text right here. Uh, this one looks good. Just drag and drop it and we can edit the text itself later. Okay, and here you can enter your brand name. So let's say... Um, clothing okay increase the size of the frame a bit okay and let's in this text let's add um, best deals okay and this one let's delete it actually and can edit the color of the text make it a bit yellowish or let's choose this color okay now uh, as you can see here you can edit or add uh, buttons or add call to actions and so on. So in the elements, let's go back here to add like a buy now button, search for buy now graphics. Okay, and see all graphics to choose a button. Okay, I like this one in red, just drag and drop it right here. And now uh, you want to redirect the people who click on this buy now button to your products page on your Shopify store. So if you go to Shopify here, and then uh, go to online store and then preview click on preview it'll open your online store and uh, click on the products right here it'll give you the products page uh, link just uh, copy it Control c then go back here and click on the graphic itself click on the three dots here and then click on link to add a link and uh paste just paste the link and click done so now, uh, click done again. Now, when someone clicks on this buy now button, he'll be redirected to your uh, store uh, products page. So um, here, as I showed you, if you want to start from a black canvas, now if you want to edit uh, a ready-made template, let's say you want to edit this photo, let's go back to the downloads and then add a photo of our product. Okay, let's, uh, for example, let's edit this title to say um, black shirt of course you need to if you are creating your uh, like a canvas or a website from scratch you need to make sure you have like all the fonts are the same uh, the color scheme is the same so you do not want to use different fonts and to make your website look looks un uh, looks unprofessional this way uh, so black shirt and then let's uh, Add this one as a description you can edit a description so for example this is a black shirt okay like let's get it here under the title and then let's delete the cell and rent and let's uh, make this one like buy now sorry buy now and now we will add a link to this button as well as the image and the uh, text title. So um, let's go to our online store, go to products. Okay, sorry, let's uh, go to the online store itself. And then in the products, click on the product that you want to link. Of course, this is like a different product. However, uh, you get the point, you get the idea. Let's copy the link and then go to this button right here. Three dots, link, and then paste. And then click done and um, on the text right here okay add the link so that uh, your when your customer uh, clicks on the buy now or 
the uh, title or even the picture he'll be redirected to the same page so um, he can click uh, wherever he want to if uh, uh, so you do not want to make it difficult and make the customer click on a certain place let's uh, remove the underline here we do not uh, need it to be underlined it can be clickable without the underline and you can also add graphics to the background and elements and so on so uh, here let's preview how our website will look like click on preview right here okay and it'll open uh, in like a pop-up you can see how your site will look like you can choose to enable or disable navigation so uh, like click on the different uh, buttons to go to different pages so you can edit these pages separately in canva now uh, if you click on the buy button buy now button here you'll be redirected to your uh, products page on your shopify store so here it is this is my uh, products page now if i close it and scroll down to this like black shirt if i click anywhere like on this button right here you can see the cursor changes on the photo or on the title itself let's click on the photo this time and you'll be redirected to uh, this product page so this hoodie page on your shopify store of course i have uh, if i had this picture downloaded i would have added it here instead of this one however you get the idea it's the same process okay all looks good you can see how it'll look like on your mobile phone as well so if you scroll down this is how it'll look like on a phone so um, once you are happy with uh, the result you can go ahead and uh, save it here and uh, you can share it if you want to um, and here you can go ahead and view the different uh, edit like the different uh, pages right here so this is how easy it is to design your e-commerce or online store uh, website on canva